Hey fans, how can I tell what my fuel pressure is? All right, here's my GM 350 5.7 liter PCM motor in the uh, in the MB Sports boat here. Last year I had some trouble with my fuel pressure and I uh, figured out a way to make sure I knew what was going on all the time. Here we go. So we're looking at the dash gauges in my 2002 MB Sports 220 Sport. And uh, you can see we've got this bezel here which has the uh, the fuel, volts, temp, and oil pressure, and uh, then there's the fatter gauge. That's for my um, that's for my ballast. Then we've got RPM and speed, but I don't have a fuel pressure gauge, so I'm going to show you how what I did for fuel pressure. Uh, the fuel pump is a two. It's got two fuel pumps on it. So there's one right down here. There's one down here, and then there's this guy right up here at the top. This is a 30 PSI system, and uh, so I was having problems with uh, the fuel. Last summer, this thing wouldn't start. So I was trying to figure out what was happening because one of the, the rear fuel pump, or the, the first stage fuel pump, actually was working and it could kick on, but the second stage pump wouldn't, which meant that, uh, which meant that it wouldn't run. So I got this right here. This is, is a liquid filled fuel gauge, uh, fuel pressure gauge. So what I did was I just plumbed it right into this guy here. There's um, the system had this uh, Schrader valve so you could check the pressure. And so what I did was I just got a few, um, uh, some brass tees, uh, some different brass fittings plumbed this guy directly in so that uh, now I can see exactly what's happening. It actually came in handy one time I was out on the lake and didn't know what was going on. Suddenly it just wouldn't run. Uh, lifted up the cover, boom, no fuel pressure. So I wanted to point this out. The purpose behind the fluid filled gauge is typically for something that will see a lot of vibration. It won't have an impact on the needle measurement. However, it has the added bonus on a marine application that since it is already fluid filled, there will not get, um, the boat or the gauge will not get uh, any moisture inside of it, which means that it will not, um, it will not get rusty, it will not get uh, corroded on the inside. So, uh, as you can see, this one is, sorry for the shaking camera, this one is a Marshall Anaheim company. I think it cost probably cost me around 40 bucks, maybe close to 50, between 40 and 50 by the time I got the fittings and the gauge, uh, but definitely worth having. All right, we're going to test it out. Got power to the engine. Uh, let's see what happens if I turn the key. There we go. Pumps it right up to 30 psi, and I know that I got no problems with my fuel pressure. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful in any way, please like and subscribe. I appreciate the uh, the uh, the likes.